Hello, this is Dr. Scott McLean, and I just want to say a great big thank you for coming and uh, seeing my YouTube channel. We have over 1.6 million hits now, so that's kind of big. I also want to let you know that I'm going to be doing a live webinar coming up on May 25th. So you'll be able to tune in, and this is a no-charge webinar, so you'll have to register. The details are below, but you are invited, so hope you can make it. It's an hour webinar, so you can book this into your day, and hopefully you'll be able to share some thoughts and ideas about dental implants. We'll be talking about a few things that I'm quite excited about. One is about digital planning of dental implants, and we can evaluate prosthetic space for bridges, for singles, for um, you know full arch type of uh, overdentures, or for all in four type of bridges. And so we'll be discussing those type of concepts and using digital technology to do so. And uh, so that'll be kind of fun, and uh, we'll have a good look at this. And uh, I hope so you'll drop in and we'll be able to do that. And we'll show how the, the team can kind of work as a group so getting the surgical planning to the surgeon and, and working as a team with the restorative dentist and the lab technician. So working as a group then we can get these implants exactly where they need to be for restorative success and for long term success because we want to have it so that we're able to make it so it's cleansable and uh, so that the patient can look after this because a lot of times they have had problems in the past. This is a patient I had in today. We're going to show you some things about how to take a patient like this, having teeth and having, uh, you know, being scared to death going to the dentist, and how do we take them and get them excited so that they're going to do exactly what they need to do. And so we're going to be having this uh, uh, seminar, which is going to be a webinar on May 25th, 2016. So hope you can join in and register. Just look below on the page, you'll see the details about how to do so. You may have to copy the link and paste it in. But here's the case today again. We can see that we use a template to go in and do planning the implants to depth and angulation to get this exactly where we want to go to protect the nerve and to protect the space because we want to have enough space to actually make it so that we're going to have a good restoration that's going to last long term and be cleansable. Then also I'm quite excited about this. I'm going to be uh, live at Nobel Symposium and June and so there's three courses I'm putting on. One is about planning using digital software to do all in four treatments and uh, full arch treatments. So it's something that you can register for and learn how to do these type of cases and work as a team and I suggest your team come in as a, as a group to do this. You'll be working on computers and, and learn how to do this in a two hour period so that you'll be able to plan the cases and get this so that uh, you know, you'll get restorative success um, by planning the prosthetics first so we can use these type of templates to do so. So I'm quite excited and uh, this is something that I'll share with you. I'll also be talking about how to relate to the patients to try to get them excited about dentistry and get them to understand how important it is to do the things we need to do. And so it's something that we cannot put off for our patients. We need to treat them the same as if it was a class one restoration. We need to be putting implants in to fix them up and get them so that they're not going to lose more teeth. So that the sooner we're in there, the better. So by doing templates like such, we're going to be able to, to get this exactly where they need to go, giving us peace of mind, which is so important when we're having clinical precision. So we're going to plan them so that they start to get into the right location, extract teeth, and based on this type of positioning, we're going to protect the nerve so we can get the implants angled in the right direction and position so that we'll actually level this uh, shelf back down so we get a nice flat shelf. So then once we do our restoration, it's going to be very cleansable based on these principles. So I hope you can attend. It's uh, something that can be a little bit of fun and uh, we can connect and and the details are below so you may have to cut and paste as I said which is uh, simple but hopefully you'll be able to click on that link below as well anyway hope to see you thanks for showing up on the YouTube channel